Hello everyone and welcome to Sharpgrad where we help you make wiser and smarter study of broad decisions. So in this video I want to talk about MAC Business Analytics which has become one of the most popular options among students who are planning to study abroad. US, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, no matter which destination, you will have at least thousands of students going to pursue this program every single year. So it has become very important to talk about who this program is right for, what do you learn in this program, what are the challenges that you will face in finding jobs after this program and how can you navigate those challenges. So let's start the video. So first let's talk about what will you be learning in this program. So business analytics is all about analyzing data you have a lot of data in front of you you have to analyze it you have to create reports dashboards charts graphs and a lot of other things with the help of which you have to come up with some analysis come up with some insights identify some patterns and then those patterns might be or might not be used to make some business decisions this is all about business analysis for example, if I have a list of all the students that I have counseled or consulted over the last one year, if I analyze this data, I look at, okay, how many students that I consulted to gave their application process to me or not. After I look into the ones who actually, you know, worked with me on their applications, what was their profile and the ones who did not work, what was their profile? I am basically carrying out business analysis. And what you learn in your one year of Masters of Business Analytics is actually a blend of some management modules with some technical modules. The management modules you will learn like basics of marketing, some basics of sales, some basics of leadership, some basics of supply chain management, finance, operations. And with that, you will learn how to use some technical tools like Power BI, SQL, understanding how to run SQL queries, etc. So this is all that you will be learning in your MSc Business Analytics, no matter which destination that you're going to, US, UK, Canada, whichever destination, this is what the modules are going to look like for MSc Business Analytics. Now let's move on to who should pursue this program. Well, there are three types of people who are interested in pursuing this program. First are those individuals who already have a technical degree, something like a BTEC, something like engineering, computer science, etc. Those individuals do not want to be involved in programming and coding in their career. They are like that, okay, I want to have a technical career, but I do not really want to code. I do not really want to, you know, maybe involved in development, etc. These people are the ones who are interested in pursuing embassy business analytics the most, something that I feel. Two people from BBA background or BCom background, the ones who want to launch a career in the booming field of data analytics and data science. Three are individuals who have spent five, six, seven, eight years, maybe into a customer service role, maybe into a job role that they are not very happy with. And they are getting attracted to business analytics that, okay, there are so many good jobs related to business analysis that are available. And maybe after pursuing MSc Business Analytics, I will be able to get one of those well-paying jobs. Now, let us understand who this program is right for. First of all, before pursuing this program, I would highly recommend you to have some work experience. The reason behind that is that the number of students is so much and the supply of people with business analysis skills has gone up so much that it is not keeping up with the number of job opportunities. For one business analyst job opportunity, there are thousands of applicants in one day. If I just look at LinkedIn, let's look at business analyst roles in the US on LinkedIn, as you can see on the screen right now, for one role, there are over 100 applicants already within two days, within three days. And LinkedIn doesn't show more than 100 applicants because that is when the counter stops. This number, the actual number might be 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, etc. So for that reason, you should have some work experience and I will talk about why you should have some work experience in the next part of the video. The next part is, so who this program is right for? It is right for people who have some work experience. At least one year, at least one to two years of work experience. You should ideally consider this program after that. 
Why, you ask? The reason behind that is, let us look at the different sorts of job opportunities that you can target after your MSc Business Analytics. One, you can target roles like Data Analyst. Two, you can target roles like Business Intelligence Analyst. Three, you can target roles like Operations Analyst. Four, Supply Chain Analyst. Five, Marketing Analyst. Six, Customer Experience Analyst. So you have different, different sorts of roles that you can target after your MBC business analytics. Now, if you understand one thing, in order to target the role of a marketing analyst, don't you think that if you have some work experience in marketing or some work experience in sales, and with that, if you have the skills of business analysis that you have learned from your masters, your profile will become competitive. Similarly, if you have to target, let's say the role of a data analyst, don't you think that if you have some technical experience, when you club it with your business analysis skills, your profile will become competitive for the data analyst role. Similarly, if you have to target the supply chain analyst role, don't you think that if you have some experience handling the operations of an organization, maybe handling compliance in an organization, maybe basically playing an operations role, your profile will become more competitive to target that operations analyst role. So for that reason, please collect some work experience before considering this particular program because the job opportunities that you will target will require some background of yours to be competitive. So all in all, thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we have discussed what happens in MSc Business Analytics, who should pursue this program and all about the different sorts of job opportunities available for MSc Business Analytics graduates and the importance of having some work experience before pursuing this program. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want to discuss your profile with me in detail, go on my website, book a consultation. It is free of cost. And if you want to work with a consultancy that will act as an asset on your side, which will help you in getting you to the top university of your choice, which will make sure that you get the education loan at the lowest rate of interest, which will make sure that you get the maximum possible scholarship for your profile, then you should definitely book a consultation. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Thank you very much and subscribe to the channel again.